Okay, this is video eight uh, for the C Trade Algorithmic Trading School for Beginners. Um, in this video, we're going to quickly show you how to add or how to code a trading. Sorry, trading stop. We've done that. How to code a uh, break even to your existing uh, C bot. Okay, so if you're new to this, just go to this web page on clickalgo.com. Uh, go to Education Algorithmic Trading School. I'm going to quickly go through for the benefit of other people that just want to get back, you know, get to the root of what, what we're doing today. There's a load of videos here explaining what C algo is, you know, how to write algorithmic robots for C trade and all the rest of it. It goes through an area where we created a moving average strategy and it showed you how to add a trade at trailing stop to that moving average strategy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to add a break even to this existing uh, C bot. Okay. So what I'm going to do straight away is open up uh, C algo. So this is C algo. Um, in here, this is the uh, the robot that you've been working from throughout the school. Um, if you look at the bottom, this is where we included the trailing stop um, and the trigger and the step. So that's already done. What we're going to do now is add the um, break even. Okay. So in this occasion, I'm going to do it from Visual Studio and not the editor in um, Cialgo. If you do want to edit from the editor in Cialgo, you just click on the name of the uh, C bot and you've got the code here. And you can quite easily just edit the code in here and then build it after that, okay? Um, but I'm going to do it in Visual Studio. So I'm just going to bring it across. So here it is. This is the Visual, St Visual Studio solution for that project. Um, if you have a look, I've put modifications, the date, and we've added a trailing stop and who the author is, which was me, okay? So we're going to add another one. So we can do it later, but I'm going to do it now. So the date today is the 03. So 03 12 2012. Added, uh, okay, type today. I did a break even, and I'm the author. You can put the author in case you get multiple people working on your file for whatever reason. This is good practice. So there you go. Modifications today is to add a break even. So these are regions here. It's explained already in the previous videos. Um, there's a region I've put the trailing stop in actually. In the previous video, it wasn't. It was in the position management uh, region, but I've created its own one just for that. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, show you as I did before um, the how to create um, a library of reusable um, features that you're going to add to your robot so we've had trailing stop now we're adding break even um, and as I mentioned before at the moment I've just put them in a, a standard folder and I can access them from here the reason I'm doing this this way instead of instead of using the inbuilt snippets uh, manager or feature that's built into the Visual Studios because some of you might not use Visual Studio because you can actually go insert snippet from here and then select any one of the snippets you want to insert for reusable code. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you how to do it in case you would use in um, uh, C algo as the editor. Okay, so you'd actually just have a folder somewhere on your hard drive or wherever you want to put it on your network and you'd start creating these um, libraries like shelfware reusable components that you want to add to your existing robot. So there's the break even one. If I double click on it, I've got the parameters at the top. If you look at the previous video, it showed you how these were separated. So the parameters at the top, let me just close that now. So user defined parameters. I just want to put those parameters underneath the trailing stop, paste it in there. Okay. I'm just going to build that now and then go to Okay, and if I look at the parameters now, you can see it's added the parameters, include break, break even, yes or no, the break even trigger. So in this case, how many pips will it gain before the break even starts? Now, what we've got is another little feature here is you can say break even and give me extra pips. The idea behind this is to cover your commission charges or any kind of fees or charges that you might occur. So your break even is a true break even, break even financially, not break even in uh, entry point, okay? Um, so you can now turn on or off either one of these two. These, these are just the parameters. So I'm going to go back to Visual Studio. And I'm going to show you now. I'm going to close this region down. You can see it's much neater to use regions. So if I go to C Trader Events, we spoke last time the reason why we're going to put it in the method called on tick because every time there's a price change, this method gets called, um, this code will get executed, and um, your break even or your trailing stop will be immediate. Okay, if you put it into the on bar event, it will do it only the close of the actual bar. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to include this block of code that says if include break even. Okay, if include break even, 
what that means is the include break even is the actual user defined parameter you set at the top it's a boolean you just set it to yes or no so in your user defined parameters you say yes or no and this comes to or true or false okay um, we're going to get rid of this all positions we're going to have to do a little bit of work now because I just realized I forgot to put this piece of code in there but we're going to I'm going to show you what I'm going to do okay so this this method isn't in there yet the break even adjustment so I'm going to have to now put the, the actual logic or block of code for dealing with that below the trailing stop so I'm going to create region break even okay that's the region for break even and here's the break even code okay at the top you can see it's expecting a list of all positions it's expecting an object okay so I'm just going to remove this because we're not going to pass in a parameter I'm going to actually use the same code that I use for the trailing stop to keep it consistent okay with the trailing stop it's passing in cell positions or by positions okay so let me just close this so you're getting a bit of extra uh, tutorial here because um, I don't really need to do I should have really done this before I did the video and checked it but I didn't okay so this is declaring all positions find all and then I can remove this last parameter to say only bring me back cell positions so what it's going to do now this will find me all the positions that relate to instance name and as I mentioned before instance name relates to um, a unique name it's actually the label of the uh, if you look down here label it's actually the label of the position um, but we use instance name in case you want to use the same symbol the same time frame but different parameters and this allows you to do that without getting the code confused about managing so if you do a manager trailing stop or manager break even it's not going to do it for every single position that's open okay for that symbol it'll only do it specifically for this cbot instance if I go back to the code again so that's it pretty much you don't and this is a good thing about um, software with software development if you know that you've tested and you've used this method say this uh, break-even logic and you know it works okay you never you don't even need to know how it works you just use it you just copy and paste it and you just use it and that's the beauty of uh, software development when you're bolting on feed uh, functionality that you know works ultimately you do need to test it so you will you will need to test it I'll show you in another video probably the last one of this to actually how to test that all of these are working correctly with the back test okay um, so yeah you will need to double check to make sure it's all working okay um, so I'll just recap them so you've got the new parameters that you've added at the top here okay which is include a break-even yes or no how many pips before the break-even trigger uh, activates and how many extra pips you want to have to cover any costs or anything like that okay that's your user defined parameters now you've got your C trader events uh, we put it in the on tick event you could also it's quite self-explanatory because if you obviously put your um, variable name in so it's self-explanatory you sometimes don't you don't need to put comments you know it if it's an include break even set uh, trailing stop sorry set trailing stop if it include break even you set the break even you could have renamed that the same actually set break even I mean that would make it more consistent and then it will call the break even um, method and that'll actually do the work for breaking even okay and then the last bit of code at the bottom we put a new region called break even so if we're just bolting on additional features like this in a in a consistent way and then at the top we're putting in what we've actually added at the top that's all you need to do I'll just go back to um, Cialgo and click on there and just go through the code on Cialgo to make sure it's in here as well and it's, it's built no it hasn't I'll tell you what it hasn't built because if I go back to Visual Studio I didn't save the file so you can see there's a little star there if I save the file you can see the little red star that come I'll close this down now the little red star that's come up there means it needs to be built I click on that then if I click on that and you can see it's added the break-even code at the bottom so all the code is in there now for doing this you can download this source code and the code snippets from that folder um, from the website um, if you go to clickalgo.com and uh, there's a blog as well you should be able to access all of this information and download this robot for free and use it and uh, learn how to use it okay thank you